This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. Day 1. ESL Beginner Classes My best friend in elementary school was Hannah. We were very close friends. Hannah was born in Seoul in 1984. Her parents were teachers, and they were very kind people. Their house was very beautiful. Her grandparents were also very kind, but they were very old. Hannah's little brother was very funny. His toys were always on the living room floor, and his stuffed animal was always with him. He was not naughty like my little brother. My best friend in elementary school was Hannah. We were very close friends. Hannah was born in Seoul in 1984. Her parents were teachers, and they were very kind people. Their house was very beautiful. Her grandparents were also very kind, but they were very old. Hannah's little brother was very funny. His toys were always on the living room floor, and his stuffed animal was always with him. He was not naughty like my little brother. My best friend in elementary school was Hannah. We were very close friends. Hannah was born in Seoul in 1984. Her parents were teachers, and they were very kind people. Their house was very beautiful. Her grandparents were also very kind, but they were very old. Hannah's little brother was very funny. His toys were always on the living room floor, and his stuffed animal was always with him. He was not naughty like my little brother. My best friend in elementary school was Hannah. We were very close friends. Hannah was born in Seoul in 1984. Her parents were teachers, and they were very kind people. Their house was very beautiful. Her grandparents were also very kind, but they were very old. Hannah's little brother was very funny. His toys were always on the living room floor, and his stuffed animal was always with him. He was not naughty like my little brother. My best friend in elementary school was Hannah. We were very close friends. Hannah was born in Seoul in 1984. Her parents were teachers, and they were very kind people. Their house was very beautiful. Her grandparents were also very kind, but they were very old. Hannah's little brother was very funny. His toys were always on the living room floor, and his stuffed animal was always with him. He was not naughty like my little brother. Day 2. ESL Beginner Classes I graduated from high school in 1995. My high school years were very difficult. For one thing, my school was very far from my house, so I didn't go out with my friends very often. In addition, my parents didn't like my friends. They worried about me, and they always asked me lots of questions. Where did you go last night? Who were you with? What time did you get home? I hated all of those questions. Sometimes I didn't tell the truth. To be honest, I felt bad about lying. I graduated from high school in 1995. My high school years were very difficult. For one thing, my school was very far from my house so I didn't go out with my friends very often. In addition, my parents didn't like my friends. They worried about me, and they always asked me lots of questions. Where did you go last night? Who were you with? What time did you get home? I hated all of those questions. Sometimes I didn't tell the truth. To be honest, I felt bad about lying. I graduated from high school in 1995. My high school years were very difficult. For one thing, my school was very far from my house, so I didn't go out with my friends very often. In addition, my parents didn't like my friends. They worried about me, and they always asked me lots of questions. Where did you go last night? Who were you with? What time did you get home? I hated all of those questions. Sometimes I didn't tell the truth. To be honest, I felt bad about lying. 
I graduated from high school in 1995. My high school years were very difficult. For one thing, my school was very far from my house, so I didn't go out with my friends very often. In addition, my parents didn't like my friends. They worried about me, and they always asked me lots of questions. Where did you go last night? Who were you with? What time did you get home? I hated all of those questions. Sometimes I didn't tell the truth. To be honest, I felt bad about lying. I graduated from high school in 1995. My high school years were very difficult. For one thing, my school was very far from my house, so I didn't go out with my friends very often. In addition, my parents didn't like my friends. They worried about me, and they always asked me lots of questions. Where did you go last night? Who were you with? What time did you get home? I hated all of those questions. Sometimes I didn't tell the truth. To be honest, I felt bad about lying. Day 3. ESL Beginner Classes 1. We were working at 10 o'clock a.m. 2. Where was she going? 3. He didn't want any food. 4. We looked up and they were coming. 5. We were working hard while the children were watching TV. 6. I didn't go because I had a bad cold. 7. The teacher was angry because the students weren't paying attention. 8. It was cloudy, but it wasn't raining. 9. What were you doing at 10 o'clock last night? 10. Peter looked unhappy. He wasn't smiling. 1. We were working at 10 o'clock a.m. 2. Where was she going? 3. He didn't want any food. 4. We looked up and they were coming. 5. We were working hard while the children were watching TV. 6. I didn't go because I had a bad cold. 7. The teacher was angry because the students weren't paying attention. 8. It was cloudy, but it wasn't raining. 9. What were you doing at 10 o'clock last night? 10. Peter looked unhappy. He wasn't smiling. 1. We were working at 10 o'clock a.m. 2. Where was she going? 3. He didn't want any food. 4. We looked up and they were coming. 5. We were working hard while the children were watching TV. 6. I didn't go because I had a bad cold. 7. The teacher was angry because the students weren't paying attention. 8. It was cloudy, but it wasn't raining. 9. What were you doing at 10 o'clock last night? 10. Peter looked unhappy. He wasn't smiling. 1. We were working at 10 o'clock a.m. 2. Where was she going? 3. He didn't want any food. 4. We looked up and they were coming. 5. We were working hard while the children were watching TV. 6. I didn't go because I had a bad cold. 7. The teacher was angry because the students weren't paying attention. 8. It was cloudy, but it wasn't raining. 9. What were you doing at 10 o'clock last night? 10. Peter looked unhappy. He wasn't smiling. 1. We were working at 10 o'clock a.m. 2. Where was she going? 3. He didn't want any food. 4. We looked up and they were coming. 5. We were working hard while the children were watching TV. 6. I didn't go because I had a bad cold. 7. The teacher was angry because the students weren't paying attention. 8. It was cloudy, but it wasn't raining. 9. What were you doing at 10 o'clock last night? 10. Peter looked unhappy. He wasn't smiling. Day 4. ESL Beginner Classes 1. Please buy me a map. 2. Paris is a wonderful city. 3. Is the telephone call for me? 4. Please put a stamp on this letter. 5. Museums are fun on rainy days. 6. My uncle is a policeman. 7. My father is a doctor. 8. I like French coffee. 9. He can play the guitar. 10. 
They're playing soccer. One, please buy me a map. Two, Paris is a wonderful city. Three, is the telephone call for me? Four, please put a stamp on this letter. Five, museums are fun on rainy days. Six, my uncle is a policeman. Seven, my father is a doctor. Eight, I like French coffee. Nine, he can play the guitar. Ten, they are playing soccer. One, please buy me a map. Two, Paris is a wonderful city. Three, is the telephone call for me. Four, please put a stamp on this letter. Five, museums are fun on rainy days. Six, my uncle is a policeman. Seven, my father is a doctor. Eight, I like French coffee. Nine, he can play the guitar. Ten, they are playing soccer. One, please buy me a map. Two, Paris is a wonderful city. Three, is the telephone call for me. Four, please put a stamp on this letter. Five, museums are fun on rainy days. Six, my uncle is a policeman. Seven, my father is a doctor. Eight, I like French coffee. Nine, he can play the guitar. Ten, they are playing soccer. One, please buy me a map. Two, Paris is a wonderful city. Three, is the telephone call for me. Four, please put a stamp on this letter. Five, museums are fun on rainy days. Six, my uncle is a policeman. Seven, my father is a doctor. Eight, I like French coffee. Nine, he can play the guitar. Ten. They are playing soccer. Day 5. ESL Beginner Classes As a first-year university student, I had many problems. I didn't have any friends and I was very lonely. I also didn't speak a lot of English then, so I had some trouble communicating. At the beginning lots of things were strange, like the food and the subways. Luckily, I met some students from my country, and they helped me. Today I know many people. I also speak more English, so now I don't have any problems. As a first-year university student, I had many problems. I didn't have any friends and I was very lonely. I also didn't speak a lot of English then, so I had some trouble communicating. At the beginning lots of things were strange, like the food and the subways. Luckily, I met some students from my country, and they helped me. Today I know many people. I also speak more English, so now I don't have any problems. As a first-year university student, I had many problems. I didn't have any friends and I was very lonely. I also didn't speak a lot of English then, so I had some trouble communicating. At the beginning lots of things were strange, like the food and the subways. Luckily, I met some students from my country, and they helped me. Today I know many people. I also speak more English, so now I don't have any problems. As a first-year university student, I had many problems. I didn't have any friends and I was very lonely. I also didn't speak a lot of English then, so I had some trouble communicating. At the beginning lots of things were strange, like the food and the subways. Luckily, I met some students from my country, and they helped me. Today I know many people. I also speak more English, so now I don't have any problems. As a first-year university student, I had many problems. I didn't have any friends and I was very lonely. I also didn't speak a lot of English then, so I had some trouble communicating. At the beginning lots of things were strange, like the food and the subways. Luckily, I met some students from my country, and they helped me. Today I know many people. I also speak more English, so now I don't have any problems. Day 6. ESL Beginner Classes 1. Are there any English classes in the morning? 2. Is there a telephone message for me? 3. There are no children at school today. 4. There are some books here. 5. There are no chairs. 6. 
Are there any students in the hall? 7. Look in the refrigerator. Are there any sandwiches? 8. There are three boys here. 9. Is there a car at the mechanics? 10. Are there any oranges in the kitchen? 1. Are there any English classes in the morning? 2. Is there a telephone message for me? 3. There are no children at school today. 4. There are some books here. 5. There are no chairs. 6. Are there any students in the hall? 7. Look in the refrigerator. Are there any sandwiches? 8. There are three boys here. 9. Is there a car at the mechanics? 10. Are there any oranges in the kitchen? 1. Are there any English classes in the morning? 2. Is there a telephone message for me? 3. There are no children at school today. 4. There are some books here. 5. There are no chairs. 6. Are there any students in the hall? 7. Look in the refrigerator. Are there any sandwiches? 8. There are three boys here. 9. Is there a car at the mechanics? 10. Are there any oranges in the kitchen? 1. Are there any English classes in the morning? 2. Is there a telephone message for me? 3. There are no children at school today. 4. There are some books here. 5. There are no chairs. 6. Are there any students in the hall? 7. Look in the refrigerator. Are there any sandwiches? 8. There are three boys here. 9. Is there a car at the mechanics? 10. Are there any oranges in the kitchen? 1. Are there any English classes in the morning? 2. Is there a telephone message for me? 3. There are no children at school today. 4. There are some books here. 5. There are no chairs. 6. Are there any students in the hall? 7. Look in the refrigerator. Are there any sandwiches? 8. There are three boys here. 9. Is there a car at the mechanics? 10. Are there any oranges in the kitchen? Day 7. ESL beginner classes. 1. She may not arrive on time. 2. We might leave at noon. 3. Dan may see him today. 4. I may visit them in June. 5. She might not be here right now. 6. What might happen tomorrow? 7. They might probably take the train tomorrow. 8. There is someone at the door. It may be Jenna. 9. We may go camping. 10. You might make new friends. 1. She may not arrive on time. 2. We might leave at noon. 3. Dan may see him today. 4. I may visit them in June. 5. She might not be here right now. 6. What might happen tomorrow? 7. They might probably take the train tomorrow. 8. There is someone at the door. It may be Jenna. 9. We may go camping. 10. You might make new friends. 1. She may not arrive on time. 2. We might leave at noon. 3. Dan may see him today. 4. I may visit them in June. 5. She might not be here right now. 6. What might happen tomorrow? 7. They might probably take the train tomorrow. 8. There is someone at the door. It may be Jenna. 9. We may go camping. 10. You might make new friends. 1. She may not arrive on time. 2. We might leave at noon. 3. Dan may see him today. 4. I may visit them in June. 5. She might not be here right now. 6. What might happen tomorrow? 7. They might probably take the train tomorrow. 8. There is someone at the door. It may be Jenna. 9. We may go camping. 10. You might make new friends. 1. She may not arrive on time. 2. We might leave at noon. 3. Dan may see him today. 
4. I may visit them in June. 5. She might not be here right now. 6. What might happen tomorrow? 7. They might probably take the train tomorrow. 8. There is someone at the door. It may be Jenna. 9. We may go camping. 10. You might make new friends. Day 8. ESL Beginner Classes 1. We cannot leave right now. 2. They can see in the dark. 3. She can run very quickly. 4. She was very fit. She could do 100 sit-ups. 5. Could he speak German? 6. What can you cook? 7. She can sing and dance. 8. Greg is bilingual. He can speak to languages. 9. He can play the guitar. 10. Could they find a good hotel there? 1. We cannot leave right now. 2. They can see in the dark. 3. She can run very quickly. 4. She was very fit. She could do 100 sit ups. 5. Could he speak German? 6. What can you cook? 7. She can sing and dance. 8. Greg is bilingual. He can speak to languages. 9. He can play the guitar. 10. Could they find a good hotel there? 1. We cannot leave right now. 2. They can see in the dark. 3. She can run very quickly. 4. She was very fit. She could do 100 sit-ups. 5. Could he speak German? 6. What can you cook? 7. She can sing and dance. 8. Greg is bilingual. He can speak to languages. 9. He can play the guitar. 10. Could they find a good hotel there? 1. We cannot leave right now. 2. They can see in the dark. 3. She can run very quickly. 4. She was very fit. She could do 100 sit-ups. 5. Could he speak German? 6. What can you cook? 7. She can sing and dance. 8. Greg is bilingual. He can speak to languages. 9. He can play the guitar. 10. Could they find a good hotel there? 1. We cannot leave right now. 2. They can see in the dark. 3. She can run very quickly. 4. She was very fit. She could do 100 sit-ups. 5. Could he speak German? 6. What can you cook? 7. She can sing and dance. 8. Greg is bilingual. He can speak to languages. 9. He can play the guitar. 10. Could they find a good hotel there? Day 9. ESL Beginner Classes 1. May I borrow your car? 2. No, you may not smoke here. 3. Where can we sit? 4. May I leave now, please? 5. Can you help me? 6. Would you please help me? 7. Will you open the door, please? 8. Sorry, I can't help you now. I'm busy. 1. May I borrow your car? 2. No, you may not smoke here. 3. Where can we sit? 4. May I leave now, please? 5. Can you help me? 6. Would you please help me? 7. Will you open the door, please? 8. Sorry, I can't help you now. I'm busy. 1. May I borrow your car? 2. No, you may not smoke here. 3. Where can we sit? 4. May I leave now, please? 5. Can you help me? 6. Would you please help me? 7. Will you open the door, please? 8. Sorry, I can't help you now. I'm busy. 1. May I borrow your car? 2. No, you may not smoke here. 3. Where can we sit? 4. 
May I leave now, please? 5. Can you help me? 6. Would you please help me? 7. Will you open the door, please? 8. Sorry, I can't help you now. I'm busy. 1. May I borrow your car? 2. No, you may not smoke here. 3. Where can we sit? 4. May I leave now, please? 5. Can you help me? 6. Would you please help me? 7. Will you open the door, please? 8. Sorry, I can't help you now. I'm busy. 10. ESL Beginner Classes 1. We have to leave tonight. 2. They must wear uniforms to schools. 3. I should take chemistry next year. 4. U.S. voters should be at least 18 years old. 5. You must finish before 6 o'clock. 6. Does she have to leave immediately? 7. You should not study every night. 8. Didn't you see the sign? You have not to smoke here. 1. We have to leave tonight. 2. They must wear uniforms to schools. 3. I should take chemistry next year. 4. U.S. voters should be at least 18 years old. 5. You must finish before 6 o'clock. 6. Does she have to leave immediately? 7. You should not study every night. 8. Didn't you see the sign? You have not to smoke here. 1. We have to leave tonight. 2. They must wear uniforms to schools. 3. I should take chemistry next year. 4. U.S. voters should be at least 18 years old. 5. You must finish before 6 o'clock. 6. Does she have to leave immediately? 7. You should not study every night. 8. Didn't you see the sign? You have not to smoke here. 1. We have to leave tonight. 2. They must wear uniforms to schools. 3. I should take chemistry next year. 4. U.S. voters should be at least 18 years old. 5. You must finish before 6 o'clock. 6. Does she have to leave immediately? 7. You should not study every night. 8. Didn't you see the sign? You have not to smoke here. 1. We have to leave tonight. 2. They must wear uniforms to schools. 3. I should take chemistry next year. 4. U.S. voters should be at least 18 years old. 5. You must finish before 6 o'clock. 6. Does she have to leave immediately? 7. You should not study every night. 8. Didn't you see the sign? You have not to smoke here. Day 11. ESL Beginner Classes 1. What is the situation? 2. What does the employee want? 3. How will the employee ask for this? 4. Why does the boss want the employee to stay at work? 5. What would the employee say in response to the boss? 6. How will the boss respond to the request? 7. How would the boss respond positively? 8. How would the boss respond negatively? 1. What is the situation? 2. What does the employee want? 3. How will the employee ask for this? 4. Why does the boss want the employee to stay at work? 5. What would the employee say in response to the boss? 6. How will the boss respond to the request? 7. How would the boss respond positively? 8. How would the boss respond negatively? 1. What is the situation? 2. What does the employee want? 3. How will the employee ask for this? 4. Why does the boss want the employee to stay at work? 5. What would the employee say in response to the boss? 6. How will the boss respond to the request? 7. 
How would the boss respond positively? 8. How would the boss respond negatively? 1. What is the situation? 2. What does the employee want? 3. How will the employee ask for this? 4. Why does the boss want the employee to stay at work? 5. What would the employee say in response to the boss? 6. How will the boss respond to the request? 7. How would the boss respond positively? 8. How would the boss respond negatively? 1. What is the situation? 2. What does the employee want? 3. How will the employee ask for this? 4. Why does the boss want the employee to stay at work? 5. What would the employee say in response to the boss? 6. How will the boss respond to the request? 7. How would the boss respond positively? 8. How would the boss respond negatively? Day 12. ESL Beginner Classes The English language alphabet has 26 letters. Students in a classroom are classmates. Do you want to learn English? A date has a month, day, and year. What is your native language? Someone who likes to learn new things is a learner. Do you like to meet new people? We learn English through online classes. The teacher wants students to practice every day. Listening and speaking improve communication skills. The English language alphabet has 26 letters. Students in a classroom are classmates. Do you want to learn English? A date has a month, day, and year. What is your native language? Someone who likes to learn new things is a learner. Do you like to meet new people? We learn English through online classes. The teacher wants students to practice every day. Listening and speaking improve communication skills. The English language alphabet has 26 letters. Students in a classroom are classmates. Do you want to learn English? A date has a month, day, and year. What is your native language? Someone who likes to learn new things is a learner. Do you like to meet new people? We learn English through online classes. The teacher wants students to practice every day. Listening and speaking improve communication skills. The English language alphabet has 26 letters. Students in a classroom are classmates. Do you want to learn English? A date has a month, day, and year. What is your native language? Someone who likes to learn new things is a learner. Do you like to meet new people? We learn English through online classes. The teacher wants students to practice every day. Listening and speaking improve communication skills. The English language alphabet has 26 letters. Students in a classroom are classmates. Do you want to learn English? A date has a month, day, and year. What is your native language? Someone who likes to learn new things is a learner. Do you like to meet new people? We learn English through online classes. The teacher wants students to practice every day. Listening and speaking improve communication skills. Day 13. ESL Beginner Classes Quiet students speak when we work in small groups. Small groups help shy students relax and participate more. It's a good idea for talkative students to listen to classmates. Do you like to participate in your English class? What do you like to do on the weekend? Alma and Amy like to write and practice new vocabulary words. We are going to have an important holiday next Monday. Peter wrote 10 sentences in his notebook yesterday. My son played baseball and basketball last week. Quiet students speak when we work in small groups. Small groups help shy students relax and participate more. It's a good idea for talkative students to listen to classmates. Do you like to participate in your English class? What do you like to do on the weekend? Alma and Amy like to write and practice new vocabulary words. We are going to have an important holiday next Monday. 
Peter wrote ten sentences in his notebook yesterday. My son played baseball and basketball last week. Quiet students speak when we work in small groups. Small groups help shy students relax and participate more. It's a good idea for talkative students to listen to classmates. Do you like to participate in your English class? What do you like to do on the weekend? Alma and Amy like to write and practice new vocabulary words. We are going to have an important holiday next Monday. Peter wrote ten sentences in his notebook yesterday. My son played baseball and basketball last week. Quiet students speak when we work in small groups. Small groups help shy students relax and participate more. It's a good idea for talkative students to listen to classmates. Do you like to participate in your English class? What do you like to do on the weekend? Alma and Amy like to write and practice new vocabulary words. We are going to have an important holiday next Monday. Peter wrote ten sentences in his notebook yesterday. My son played baseball and basketball last week. Quiet students speak when we work in small groups. Small groups help shy students relax and participate more. It's a good idea for talkative students to listen to classmates. Do you like to participate in your English class? What do you like to do on the weekend? Alma and Amy like to write and practice new vocabulary words. We are going to have an important holiday next Monday. Peter wrote ten sentences in his notebook yesterday. My son played baseball and basketball last week. Day fourteen. ESL beginner classes. One, Mr. Sanchez likes to read in the afternoon. Two, do you celebrate your birthday in July? Three, what did you learn last week in class? Four, Saturday and Sunday are weekend days. Five, I don't know what to give my mother for her birthday. Six. What are you going to give your father for his birthday? Seven. If you don't like something, it means you dislike it. Eight. My family watched a funny movie last night. Nine. Leon planted beautiful flowers in her garden. Ten. Woody Haas' husband drove to Las Vegas on Friday. One. Mr. Sanchez likes to read in the afternoon. Two, do you celebrate your birthday in July? Three, what did you learn last week in class? Four, Saturday and Sunday are weekend days. Five, I don't know what to give my mother for her birthday. Six, what are you going to give your father for his birthday? Seven, if you don't like something, it means you dislike it. Eight. My family watched a funny movie last night. Nine. Leon planted beautiful flowers in her garden. Ten. Woody Haas' husband drove to Las Vegas on Friday. One. Mr. Sanchez likes to read in the afternoon. Two. Do you celebrate your birthday in July? Three. What did you learn last week in class? Four. Saturday and Sunday are weekend days. Five. I don't know what to give my mother for her birthday. Six. What are you going to give your father for his birthday? Seven. If you don't like something, it means you dislike it. Eight. My family watched a funny movie last night. Nine. Leon planted beautiful flowers in her garden. Ten. Woody Haas' husband drove to Las Vegas on Friday. One. Mr. Sanchez likes to read in the afternoon. Two. Do you celebrate your birthday in July? Three. What did you learn last week in class? Four. Saturday and Sunday are weekend days. Five. I don't know what to give my mother for her birthday. Six. What are you going to give your father for his birthday? Seven. If you don't like something, it means you dislike it. Eight. My family watched a funny movie last night. Nine. Leon planted beautiful flowers in her garden. Ten. Woody Haas' husband drove to Las Vegas on Friday. One, Mr. Sanchez likes to read in the afternoon. Two, do you celebrate your birthday in July? Three, what did you learn last week in class? Four, Saturday and Sunday are weekend days. Five, I don't know what to give my mother for her birthday. Six, what are you going to give your father for his birthday? 
7. If you don't like something it means you dislike it. 8. My family watched a funny movie last night. 9. Leon planted beautiful flowers in her garden. 10. Woji Ha's husband drove to Las Vegas on Friday. Day 15. ESL Beginner Classes. 1. I gave my parents a car for their wedding anniversary. 2. The boyfriend gave his girlfriend perfume and a gold bracelet. 3. Where do your parents live? 4. How many children do you have? 5. Are you going to watch TV tonight? 6. My best friend and I went to college together. 7. Children like to skate at the park every day. 8. People go to Big Bear to ski when it snows in the winter. 9. Raina bought fresh fruit at the farmer's market last week. 10. Maggie was born in China, and she grew up there. 1. I gave my parents a car for their wedding anniversary. 2. The boyfriend gave his girlfriend perfume and a gold bracelet. 3. Where do your parents live? 4. How many children do you have? 5. Are you going to watch TV tonight? 6. My best friend and I went to college together. 7. Children like to skate at the park every day. 8. People go to Big Bear to ski when it snows in the winter. 9. Raina bought fresh fruit at the farmer's market last week. 10. Maggie was born in China, and she grew up there. 1. I gave my parents a car for their wedding anniversary. 2. The boyfriend gave his girlfriend perfume and a gold bracelet. 3. Where do your parents live? 4. How many children do you have? 5. Are you going to watch TV tonight? 6. My best friend and I went to college together. 7. Children like to skate at the park every day. 8. People go to Big Bear to ski when it snows in the winter. 9. Raina bought fresh fruit at the farmer's market last week. 10. Maggie was born in China, and she grew up there. 1. I gave my parents a car for their wedding anniversary. 2. The boyfriend gave his girlfriend perfume and a gold bracelet. 3. Where do your parents live? 4. How many children do you have? 5. Are you going to watch TV tonight? 6. My best friend and I went to college together. 7. Children like to skate at the park every day. 8. People go to Big Bear to ski when it snows in the winter. 9. Raina bought fresh fruit at the farmer's market last week. 10. Maggie was born in China, and she grew up there. 1. I gave my parents a car for their wedding anniversary. 2. The boyfriend gave his girlfriend perfume and a gold bracelet. 3. Where do your parents live? 4. How many children do you have? 5. Are you going to watch TV tonight? 6. My best friend and I went to college together. 7. Children like to skate at the park every day. 8. People go to Big Bear to ski when it snows in the winter. 9. Raina bought fresh fruit at the farmer's market last week. 10. Maggie was born in China, and she grew up there. Day 16. ESL Beginner Classes Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. Where was your child born? My child was born in San Diego, California. My classmate was born in Korea and grew up there. She wasn't born in the U.S. Eric and Susan were very good friends, when they, were children. They are older now and still good friends. How was your weekend last week? My family and I went to San Diego Zoo. We were together all day. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. Where was your child born? My child was born in San Diego. California. My classmate was born in Korea and grew up there. She wasn't born in the U.S. Eric and Susan were very good friends when they were children. They are older now and still good friends. 
How was your weekend last week? My family and I went to San Diego Zoo. We were together all day. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. Where was your child born? My child was born in San Diego, California. My classmate was born in Korea and grew up there. She wasn't born in the U.S. Eric and Susan were very good friends when they were children. They are older now and still good friends. How was your weekend last week? My family and I went to San Diego Zoo. We were together all day. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. Where was your child born? My child was born in San Diego, California. My classmate was born in Korea and grew up there. She wasn't born in the U.S. Eric and Susan were very good friends when they were children. They are older now and still good friends. How was your weekend last week? My family and I went to San Diego Zoo. We were together all day. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. Where was your child born? My child was born in San Diego, California. My classmate was born in Korea and grew up there. She wasn't born in the U.S. Eric and Susan were very good friends when they were children. They are older now and still good friends. How was your weekend last week? My family and I went to San Diego Zoo. We were together all day. Day 17. ESL Beginner Classes. 1. Are you going to watch videos today? No, I'm not. I watched videos yesterday. I don't like to watch videos very often. 2. Are you going to drive downtown this weekend? No, I'm not. I drove downtown last weekend. I don't like to drive downtown very often. 3. Is Mrs. Miller going to plant flowers this spring? No, she's not. She planted flowers last spring. She doesn't like to plant flowers very often. 1. Are you going to watch videos today? No, I'm not. I watched videos yesterday. I don't like to watch videos very often. 2. Are you going to drive downtown this weekend? No, I'm not. I drove downtown last weekend. I don't like to drive downtown very often. 3. Is Mrs. Miller going to plant flowers this spring? No, she's not. She planted flowers last spring. She doesn't like to plant flowers very often. 1. Are you going to watch videos today? No, I'm not. I watched videos yesterday. I don't like to watch videos very often. 2. Are you going to drive downtown this weekend? No, I'm not. I drove downtown last weekend. I don't like to drive downtown very often. 3. Is Mrs. Miller going to plant flowers this spring? No, she's not. She planted flowers last spring. She doesn't like to plant flowers very often. 1. Are you going to watch videos today? No, I'm not. I watched videos yesterday. I don't like to watch videos very often. 2. Are you going to drive downtown this weekend? No, I'm not. I drove downtown last weekend. I don't like to drive downtown very often. 3. Is Mrs. Miller going to plant flowers this spring? No, she's not. She planted flowers last spring. She doesn't like to plant flowers very often. 1. Are you going to watch videos today? No, I'm not. I watched videos yesterday. I don't like to watch videos very often. 2. Are you going to drive downtown this weekend? No, I'm not. I drove downtown last weekend. I don't like to drive downtown very often. 3. Is Mrs. Miller going to plant flowers this spring? No, she's not. She planted flowers last spring. She doesn't like to plant flowers very often. Day 18 ESL Beginner Classes 1. Is your father going to make pancakes this morning? No, he's not. He made pancakes yesterday morning. He doesn't like to make pancakes very often. 2. Are Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins going to the mall this Saturday? Are Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins going to go to the mall this Saturday? 
No, they're not. They went to the mall last Saturday. They don't like to go to the mall very often. 3. Are you and your friends going skiing this December? Are you and your friends going to go skiing this December? No, we're not. We went skiing last December. We don't like to go skiing very often. 4. Are you going to write letters tonight? No, I'm not. I wrote letters last night. I don't like to write letters very often. 1. Is your father going to make pancakes this morning? No, he's not. He made pancakes yesterday morning. He doesn't like to make pancakes very often. 2. Are Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins going to the mall this Saturday? Are Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins going to go to the mall this Saturday? No, they're not. They went to the mall last Saturday. They don't like to go to the mall very often. 3. Are you and your friends going skiing this December? Are you and your friends going to go skiing this December? No, we're not. We went skiing last December. We don't like to go skiing very often. 4. Are you going to write letters tonight? No, I'm not. I wrote letters last night. I don't like to write letters very often. 1. Is your father going to make pancakes this morning? No, he's not. He made pancakes yesterday morning. He doesn't like to make pancakes very often. 2. Are Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins going to the mall this Saturday? Are Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins going to go to the mall this Saturday? No, they're not. They went to the mall last Saturday. They don't like to go to the mall very often. 3. Are you and your friends going skiing this December? Are you and your friends going to go skiing this December? No, we're not. We went skiing last December. We don't like to go skiing very often. 4. Are you going to write letters tonight? No, I'm not. I wrote letters last night. I don't like to write letters very often. 1. Is your father going to make pancakes this morning? No, he's not. He made pancakes yesterday morning. He doesn't like to make pancakes very often. 2. Are Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins going to the mall this Saturday? Are Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins going to go to the mall this Saturday? No, they're not. They went to the mall last Saturday. They don't like to go to the mall very often. 3. Are you and your friends going skiing this December? Are you and your friends going to go skiing this December? No, we're not. We went skiing last December. We don't like to go skiing very often. 4. Are you going to write letters tonight? No, I'm not. I wrote letters last night. I don't like to write letters very often. 1. Is your father going to make pancakes this morning? No, he's not. He made pancakes yesterday morning. He doesn't like to make pancakes very often. 2. Are Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins going to the mall this Saturday? Are Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins going to go to the mall this Saturday? No, they're not. They went to the mall last Saturday. They don't like to go to the mall very often. 3. Are you and your friends going skiing this December? Are you and your friends going to go skiing this December? No, we're not. We went skiing last December. We don't like to go skiing very often. 4. Are you going to write letters tonight? No, I'm not. I wrote letters last night. I don't like to write letters very often. Day 19. ESL Beginner Classes 1. Is Dave going to clean his room this week? No, he's not. He cleaned his room last week. He doesn't like to clean his room very often. 2. Are you and your family going to Wonder World this year? Are you and your family going to go to Wonder World this year? No, we're not. We went to Wonder World last year. We don't like to go to Wonder World very often. 3. Are you and your children going to see World this summer? Are you and your children going to go to see World this summer? No, we're not. We went to see World last summer. We don't like to go to see World very often. 1. Is Dave going to clean his room this week? No, he's not. 
he cleaned his room last week. He doesn't like to clean his room very often. 2. Are you and your family going to Wonder World this year? Are you and your family going to go to Wonder World this year? No, we're not. We went to Wonder World last year. We don't like to go to Wonder World very often. 3. Are you and your children going to see World this summer? Are you and your children going to go to see World this summer? No, we're not. We went to see World last summer. We don't like to go to see World very often. 1. Is Dave going to clean his room this week? No, he's not. He cleaned his room last week. He doesn't like to clean his room very often. 2. Are you and your family going to Wonder World this year? Are you and your family going to go to Wonder World this year? No, we're not. We went to Wonder World last year. We don't like to go to Wonder World very often. 3. Are you and your children going to see World this summer? Are you and your children going to go to see World this summer? No, we're not. We went to see World last summer. We don't like to go to see World very often. 1. Is Dave going to clean his room this week? No, he's not. He cleaned his room last week. He doesn't like to clean his room very often. 2. Are you and your family going to Wonder World this year? Are you and your family going to go to Wonder World this year? No, we're not. We went to Wonder World last year. We don't like to go to Wonder World very often. 3. Are you and your children going to see World this summer? Are you and your children going to go to see World this summer? No, we're not. We went to see World last summer. We don't like to go to see World very often. 1. Is Dave going to clean his room this week? No, he's not. He cleaned his room last week. He doesn't like to clean his room very often. 2. Are you and your family going to Wonder World this year? Are you and your family going to go to Wonder World this year? No, we're not. We went to Wonder World last year. We don't like to go to Wonder World very often. 3. Are you and your children going to see World this summer? Are you and your children going to go to see World this summer? No, we're not. We went to see World last summer. We don't like to go to see World very often. Day 20. ESL Beginner Classes 1. What do you like to do? 2. What do you do every day? 3. What did you do yesterday? 4. What are you doing right now? 5. What are you going to do tomorrow? 6. What are you going to do this summer? 7. What do you like to do? 8. Do you like to do this every day? 9. Did you do this yesterday? 10. Are you doing this now? 11. Are you doing this tomorrow? 1. What do you like to do? 2. What do you do every day? 3. What did you do yesterday? 4. What are you doing right now? 5. What are you going to do tomorrow? 6. What are you going to do this summer? 7. What do you like to do? 8. Do you like to do this every day? 9. Did you do this yesterday? 10. Are you doing this now? 11. Are you doing this tomorrow? 1. What do you like to do? 2. What do you do every day? 3. What did you do yesterday? 4. What are you doing right now? 5. What are you going to do tomorrow? 6. What are you going to do this summer? 7. What do you like to do? 8. Do you like to do this every day? 9. Did you do this yesterday? 10. Are you doing this now? 11. Are you doing this tomorrow? 1. What do you like to do? 2. What do you do every day? 3. What did you do yesterday? 4. What are you doing right now? 5. What are you going to do tomorrow? 6. What are you going to do this summer? 7. What do you like to do? 8. Do you like to do this every day? 9. Did you do this yesterday? 10. Are you doing this now? 11. Are you doing this tomorrow? 1. What do you like to do? 2. What do you do every day? 3. What did you do yesterday? 4. What are you doing right now? 5. 
What are you going to do tomorrow? 6. What are you going to do this summer? 7. What do you like to do? 8. Do you like to do this every day? 9. Did you do this yesterday? 10. Are you doing this now? 11. Are you doing this tomorrow?